hello everyone and welcome to this video where i am going to tell you that how you can enable site collection level app catalog so let's get started so the agenda of this particular video will be that i will tell you three different methods by which you can enable site collection level app catalog so i will tell you about how to use sharepoint online management shell for this purpose how you can use sharepoint pnp powershell and then i will tell you how you you can use office 365 cli because i have seen uh, many of you might be having confusion or may have not been uh, started with sharepoint pnp powershell and office 365 cli so in this particular video you will see all the three stuff and how you will see and you will see that how you can enable a site collection level app catalog so let's first start by using sharepoint online management shell so first of all what you need to do for this is you need to uh, go to this particular website uh, official uh, website of microsoft from where you can download and install the sharepoint online management shell once you download and install it then you will see uh, this type of screen where you can uh, start writing your powershell commands in sharepoint online management shell so going back to the ppt what you have to do first you have to connect to the sharepoint online so for that what i have done is uh, i have already uh, i'm already having a tenant uh, where there you can see there are many site collections we will be working in, in this particular video on these three site collections but before getting started please remember that in your tenant the tenant level app catalog should be enabled i repeat that tenant level app catalog as you can see on the screen this is my tenant level app catalog and it should be enabled on your tenant only after which you will be able to enable the site collection level app catalog so how to uh, create the tenant level app catalog uh, i'm going to tell you in this video as well so you can see here on the left hand side there are there is option called more features just click on this and in the app section if you click on open so just click on open so it will give you many options that what you want to do by going to tenantadmin.aspx page so from here you can create the tenant level app catalog by clicking on this and you can uh, enable and create the tenant level app catalog so first of all we will enable the share, uh, site collection level app catalog using sharepoint online management shell but as i said before that these commandlet will only work and will not give you any error or will not fail only if your tenant level app catalog is enabled so please remember that okay so now we will do a step by step first of all we will connect the spo uh, we will use the command let connect spo service to connect to the sharepoint online tenant so i am writing the same command over here so it will ask for the credential with which you uh, want to log in this should be the admin credentials okay so i am logging with my admin cred credentials you have to just pass the username and password and you will get connected so as you can see on the screen now you are connected to the sharepoint online tenant and second command which you have to run for uh, creating the sharepoint site collection level app catalog is this command so in this command what we are saying and what we are connecting to essentially so as you can see this is a site collection slash site slash test site okay so as of now there is no site collection level app catalog but the moment i will run the command this command i've run this command and you see the site collection level app catalog must be created so let's refresh this uh, site collection particular site collection and you can see here that the site collection level app catalog has been created so this was one of the way that how you can use sharepoint online management shell how you can use sharepoint online management shell for creating or enabling the site collection level app catalog so let's move to the second method the second method is using sharepoint pnp powershell now this is something very very important so what you have to do for this is you have to just open the windows powershell the windows 10 i am using the windows 10 machine 
So just open the Windows PowerShell and we will run this command to find the module SharePoint PNP PowerShell in the system. So let's do that. So what it will do, it is finding the modules online. Okay. SharePoint PNP PowerShell, all the module it is finding as of now online. So now as you can see, uh, it is showing the recent version as 3.21.20 for SharePoint PNP PowerShell online. It has SharePoint PNP PowerShell for 2013, 2016 and 2019. So what we are going to do is what we will do. We will see exactly the name and version because it is not showing the complete version. So now as you can see that it will tell us the complete name and version which is the most recent available for SharePoint Online for SharePoint 2016 for 13 and 19. So as you can see 3.21.2005.1 this is the recent version which is available online the most recent version for SharePoint PNP PowerShell okay. Now if you want to install first of all SharePoint PNP PowerShell in your system so this is a very good website of github github.com this is official website slash pnp pnp powershell releases so here you can see that there are msi available which you can uh, download and install in your system for online for 2019 for 2016 and for 2013 so i have already downloaded and installed this version sharepoint pnp powershell online msi and to check that what we can do that i will run the command install module sharepoint pnp powershell online okay so what it is saying install module sharepoint pnp powershell online so what it will do it will install the module okay in my system now what it is saying you are installing the module from an untrusted repository so are you sure you want to install the modules from ps gallery what we will say we will say yes and i pressed enter now you see this is very important it is giving me a warning that a version 3.20 of module is already installed in my system so to check that what i'm going to do is that uh, it is already installed in my system so let's connect directly to the sharepoint online so for that the pnp command to connect to sharepoint online is connect pnp online url http admin.sharepoint.com instead what you can do is what else you can do is uh, let me cancel it so i'm again copying it from here let's let me copy this in a notepad first of all and what i will say uh, whips it world 2 hyphen admin dot sharepoint dot com i will say use web login and i will press enter now what it will do it will use the uh, web login it means it will use my current tenant so it, you can see on the screen it is already connected now i am going to add another command for another site collection so that i can enable site collection level app catalog so let me show you for that so this is my another site collection earlier one it was test site now i am showing you another site collection which is which is test site 2 now you can see there is let me refresh it for you you can see there is no site collection level app catalog as of now, now enabled because i have not run the command so using pnp powershell what we are going to do now we are going to enable the site collection level app catalog the command has ran successfully let me refresh it now as you can see in the site collection the library apps for sharepoint has already been created so that was the second method which i wanted to show you in this particular video that how you can enable site collection level app catalog using sharepoint pnp powershell so let me trade the steps for you first of all so you have to open the windows powershell in your machine then you have to install the sharepoint pnp powershell online then the second last step is connect to the sharepoint online tenant using the commandlet connect pnp online and then you have to use the command npnp site collection app catalog you have to pass the site collection url and the site collection level app catalog will be enabled okay now let's come to the last part of this video that how you can use office 365 cli 
So let me tell you something about Office 365 CLI first of all. So Office 365 CLI command line interface it is uh, distributed as an NPM package. So you have to have the Node.js and NPM packages installed in your system. So firstly install the Node.js. Once you install the Node.js, install the Office 365 CLI using the command npm install g at the rate pnp slash office 365 cli once you do the, do this then you can start the office 365 cli by tapping in the command office 365 so for this uh, i want to tell you a very good website which you can use this is pnp.github slash office 365 cli it will give you complete information about office 365 cli about the installation about getting started how you can uh, take help uh, take help of the help command how you can exit or quit and others user guide which is required to understand the office 365 cli so i have already implemented or executed this command npm install hyphen g at the rate pnp at the rate office 365 cli it has gone online and installed the office 365 cli for me so as i mentioned here that uh, office 365 CLI it will start the immersive CLI with its own command prompt so you can see here that once this is done when I wrote the command office 365 so it has started its own uh, you can say immersive CLI inside the uh, same command prompt okay so what we need to do is what we need to do is that first we have to log in so that uh, implementation I've already done you can use the help command you can use the exit command for exit so let's do first of all the login piece so that we can log into uh, office 365 sharepoint online tenant so now you see here it always asks whenever you run this login command in office 365 cli it tells you that you have to go to this particular url so let's go to this particular url because this is kind of a device login and it generates a code for you so you can use this particular code I can use the particular code over here to verify the device which I am using. Once the device will be verified, it will uh, give you the instruction that you can uh, close the window. So I am logging in with the same account. It is asking for an account. Now you see here, you have signed into the PNP Office 365 management shell. You may now close this window. So let's close this window and in this uh, screen, you will see that we have successfully logged in. Now what we want to do is we want to create a site collection level app catalog in our third site collection. So the third site collection is test site 3. So let me repeat for you. First we started with a SharePoint management shell in this video. And that was site the site collection slash site slash test site and you see here the apps for SharePoint has been created. This is a site collection level app catalog. Second uh, we did for the site collection slash site slash test site 2 using SharePoint PNP PowerShell online and the apps for SharePoint again this library uh, at the site collection level created. Now what we are doing we are in another site collection that is slash site slash test 3 and I am refreshing it just to show you that as of now there is no site collection level app catalog enabled over here. So let's do it. Run this command SPO site app catalog add URL and this is the URL of the site collection you have to pass the URL of the site collection and once I run this command, it will take few seconds to enable the site collection level app catalog. And as you can see, it has already executed this command. So let's go to the site collection, test site 3 and let's refresh it. So after refresh, you will see that again, the apps for SharePoint library has been created. So in this particular video, uh, we have seen the three methods that how you can enable site collection level app catalog and I hope this video will help you to get started uh, with using SharePoint online management shell or uh, SharePoint PNP power shell online or Office 365 CLI. So that's all in this video. Thank you very much. Please be safe, stay safe and be happy. Thank you.